Stay dry, Captain. My ship is free, and its course is yours to plot, my friends. Were it not war sworn asking, I wouldn't sail such treacherous northern waters or set foot on an island so long forsaken. But for you, I'll go. I'll go. As I said, whenever you give the word. Then climb aboard! The seas may be rough, but you and your comrade need not fear. You're in able hands. So this is it. Eamon's Isle. These were once awesome towers and ramparts. Atop each, a banner snapping in the breeze. For longer, I think they've seen us. fear that he's already come and gone, and we still don't know what he wanted here. So much majesty, though now in ruins. Imagine what it must have been when all of this was glorious and new. I have wondered about them since we last spoke. They take the name from the legendary mage Farlong, but I do not know why. I know only his name is a foe of Aegon, son of Eamon. 
And I know the histories well. Look at it! Signs of why Beeson came here. Any clue as to his plans? From what I've heard and read, if there is anything of value left here, we'll find it in the chapel. Why did Beeson come here, I wonder? What was he after? My mother was here, long ago. She saw many ancient places in her time. vault to now here. But what do they hope to find? There are no relics here, only lost knowledge. Maybe knowledge more powerful than any relic. <laughs> We 
should be close to the chapel now. Chapel of the first swarm. Look out! <laughs> <laughs> a look if I'm not mistaken this is it all Beeson's plans written here in our own recorded history the mural tells of the mage Farlong who sought to make himself a king of Nascaru and how Aegon thwarted him Beeson thinks he will succeed where Farlong failed and he just might. Because he could not learn what he needed to know anywhere else. Everything he needs is written here, down to the last detail. Beeson's minions call themselves Farlongi. As Beeson does now, the mage Farlong gathered cursed artifacts and used them to raise a host of lesser Niskaru. Do you see? Beeson follows Farlong's path at every step. I think we must. Farlong tried to free an Iskaru lord from its mountain prison. With such power behind him, he would have been unstoppable. As Beeson seeks to mimic Farlong, so we must match Eamon and stop him. A chaotic being of immense power. If it were loosed upon the world... But it must not. It mustn't. Yes, he did. The mystic hammer, forged by Eamon for the hands of his son, Aegon. It alone could halt Farlong's spell and restore the Nisgaru Lord to his prison. I know of it, but not its location. But Delfric may be able to help with that. Return to Shieldring Keep. 
I will travel to Ironfast Keep in Detir and learn all I can. Meet me there. The Mystic Hammer is among the few ancient relics named in our records. I am sure. Go to Shieldren Keep, where ancient Delphric can help you find it. I will be at Ironfast, learning what I can. When you have the hammer, find me there. Is it time to return? And that's a certain thing then, is it? I think we'll not see this scrap of shore again once we go. Off we go then! As soon as I received news of your discoveries, I learned whatever I could of the Alpha Lord, Anruh Beeson. He is indeed a powerful man, a member of the Orbacant, or he was, until he proposed using Nescaro in the war. He was laughed off the council and then vanished taking some of Rathir's most powerful mages with him. Yes, I see. It should be in Aegon's tomb. A last pledge shield none below Oathblade are permitted inside our sacred places. But this is easily solved. For your valor and honor, in the name of the First Sworn, I bestow upon you the rank of Oathblade. Take this as a token of the honor. Now, the tomb lies just south of Ulcerund. It opens only with this key. Proceed to Ironfast once you have the hammer. Ordinarily, the rank is reserved for proven veterans of the field. There is also usually a ceremony, but that will have to wait, I'm afraid. And by the first sworn, may you know victory. A 
Oathblade. Greetings. You call yourself a blacksmith? Well, perhaps. A little training would do you some good, I'd say. This is the shield ring smithy. If you need repairs, I can help with that. If you want to be scolded by a sour greybeard, talk to Halder there. Goodbye now. At your service. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
brought something from Mitharu. I've not trained anyone since coming to the desert, but very well. Any money I make will benefit Mitharu, so I will teach you. Farewell, adventurer.
Knights of Menity are thick with shirt. Yes? You have the remains of the hammer. It is... I should have expected this. It was forged in the Hall of the First Sworn. It must, I think, be reforged there. The Hall is not far, only... I don't know what to do when we get there. The Hall lies south through the canyons. Meet me there. Yes, I... Time is short. The Hall of the First Sworn is south and east through the canyons. Meet me there when you are ready. We need it restored if we hope to defeat Beeson. And for that, I'm afraid, we must journey to the Hall of the First Sworn. They are powerful beyond anything you could imagine. This one was called Karmazandu, the Deceitful One. The texts claim the Arathi themselves imprisoned him in the mountain after he proved too clever to kill. The heights of Menetir are thick with you. <laughs> we see few enough strangers in Iron Park. My poor old master had but one dying wish, that his prize blade, the one on the wall, be mended. Some days I dream that I'll do it myself. Then I remember I'm a poor, untrained apprentice, who can barely forge a soup spoon. Why, that's Haldabir's blade. It's famous, from the Fey Wars. My old master always said he'd fix it right again. Might have, if he'd lived. Now it just hangs on the wall, taunting me, reminding me of all I'm not. In battle, oh, it's a wondrous tale of how Haldabir slew his foe. I'd tell, but I don't think I could do it justice. Repair the sword? Not likely. There's one man living who can, and he'd rather eat nettles and stare at the sky than raise hammer to anvil. You can find the hermit smith yourself, up in the Minotaur Heights, but don't expect much. Who's this? I've grown so used to the same few drifters coming in for supplies and the contract board. A fresh face is a welcome thing. It's right beside me. The work's open to any and all. When a contract's done, they come to me for their pay. When there are open jobs, and there's good proof they've been done, then yes I do. So long. of amenity are thick. The heights of Menetir are thick with Jotun.
I'm sorry for the way I left Ironfast. The last time I saw my mother was the day she set off for these ruins. She came here and never returned. I... I thought... maybe... But we must be going. Records speak of a sacred passage that leads to the forge. I owe you an explanation, don't I? When I was young, my father touched the hilt of a chaos-cursed dagger. The magic within it disfigured and diseased him. My mother spent her life delving into war-sworn past in search of a cure. She searched everywhere, until she came here. Thank you for listening. Not all our wisdom was left to gather dust on Eamon's Isle. I have learned the location of the Niskaru Lord's mountain prison. But first, we must deal with that hammer. That means the Hall of the First Sworn. It seems he was a prince whose father squandered and lost his kingdom. He was raised, hunted, and a beggar. Then he found the Niskaru Lord Kamazandu in its mountain prison. It whispered to him, said it could help him win back his birthright. That's how it began. He has gone to free the Nuskaru Lord. Pray we are not too far behind to stop him. It's said that the way from the sacred passage to the forge opened only for Eamon, and at its end, he learned the secrets of the First Sworn. It's also said to have closed and sealed the day that he died. Yes, to reach the ancient forge, you must go through a sacred passage. Of course, I can't be certain. No one but Eamon himself has ever walked those halls. They say he came to this place a prince, and left it sworn to war. How he entered the passage, what he learned there, none but he know. Lead on, Oathblade.
She was so close. Look, that must be the sacred passage there. All right, let's do this. There's no hope. We've come all this way. For what? You and I are not Eamon. How can we ever hope to pass through that? Yes, but it can't be done. Try for yourself. Ancient magic bars the way. Only those foreseen may enter here. Fate bars this path, and none may alter fate. Approach, mortal. The hammer must be remade. The hammer. To the forge. You will know the way. The wisdom is within you. Look at it, how it shines. This is a weapon of legend. Held in Aegon's hands, it fell Niskaru by the score. But now we have our own legends to make. The Niskaru Lord Kamazondu is imprisoned in Cloudcrest Mountain, in the Hollowlands. As Beeson weaves his spell, something called the Niskaru Lord's Crown will emerge. Are you listening? It is not truly a crown, but emanations of the Niskaru Lord itself, as it emerges from the mountain. It cannot escape all at once. 
So if we can injure these first projections with the Mystic Hammer, we can close the door Beeson seeks to open. Cloudcrest Mountain looks over the southern hollowlands, west of here. I will go to Ironfast Keep for reinforcements and meet you there. They both suffered and died because the knowledge and memory of our order was squandered and lost. I will not forget that. But I can be content that their deaths were not in vain either. He plans to free an Iskaru lord, and we hope to stop him. Mitharu, help us. Yes, it lies south along the Hollowlands. I will be there with reinforcements. Make yourself ready. This will be a trial like none you've known. To the mountain then, and our final task. In ancient times, the desert had no shade. The sun burned the land to ruin. The rivers disappeared, and the animals hid underground. The people cried to Helios for mercy. Look, Beeson has carved his own way into the mountain, and that will be our route as well. Let's go. Yes, the crown will emerge at Cloudcrest's summit. That's where Beeson will be. Warm to war. Great gods!
this one. them back. You go on. Do what you came to do.
What have you done, you fool? Do you think this war can be won without me? Mortals cannot triumph against such malice. We've fought this war for more than ten years. We could fight a hundred more and for nothing. I could have ended it. I could have promised a thousand years of peace and protection under my rule. With Kamazondu at my side, and an Iskaru host at my command, who could threaten us? No one. Follow me? I would have freed it, of course, and Farlong was sure the web of spells would... I could feel it, feel its fire coursing in my veins. We were nearly one voice, one mind. What difference who follows whom? But you, you have severed the bond. It would have given me power, the power to save us all. And you took that from me. For that, you will pay. Now you die. <laughs> I won't be stretching my limbs so soon. It is a shame that the mage proved so feeble an instrument of my will. Would that I had a better, stronger one. That is true. What a shame. I was nearly free after so long. But the seal is cracked. And my mind may now wander. Imagine what I could do 
if I had an instrument through which to act as well. Your glory is bright, little one. But in less than a blink of my eye, your candle will flicker and fade. A whiff of smoke, then nothing. But I will be here still. I will chuckle when you die. And when I am freed, I will laugh until the seas boil and the mountains shake. to someone. Uh, never mind. I saw it all from over there. You were like one of the first sworn in living flesh. When you're ready, head back to the hall of the first sworn. Don't keep us waiting there, all right? Komazondu is restored to its prison, thanks to you. I don't know how you forged it or what magic it contains, but I do know it worked. I saw it for myself. In the end, he but dreamed a nightmare, but Beeson might make the nightmare real. Dead, right over there. Aegon himself would have been impressed. Yes, to the hall. Just come, you'll see. Hall of the First Sworn, don't delay. Enter. Stand before the sword. You have done great deeds. You have shined brightly as Kerwin's blade and cleared the dust from our most glorious past. You have felled foes beyond imagining and stayed true and sworn to war. Therefore, I proudly bestow upon you the high and treasured rank of True Sworn. With one hand, we remain sworn to war in the noble mercenary's creed. With the other, we shall keep watch and strike at every Niskaru threat. What is it? That such a madman exists proves only that there can be others. I am Castellan of Ironfast Keep. Good day, soldier. We did it. You did it. You were like another Aegon. I still can't believe it. One of the first sworn stands before me, and I can call him friend. You've more than earned it. I know. I was there. Did he truly wish to use Niskaru to win the war, I wonder? Or had Chaos simply twisted his mind? <laughs> 